the all of us know very well the levels of existence that so-called nitty-gritty level of action and reaction and cause and effect and karma and that normal day-to-day -day life. We also know well the arcane level, that infinite level of magic, intuition, angels and demons and all the like. We also intimately have experienced that level where compassion and empathy abide, that which we attain after suffering on those other levels that allows us to recognize the interrelatedness of life, the oneness, the experience that we have when we know that there's no separateness between all things. But we also know that we are not these levels, because these levels are levels of mind. This last journey that was undertaken even though it's not necessary for us to go anywhere to experience in full measure those three levels of life. The undertaking of this journey to Burma was to allow the possibility of those who participated to experience what it is like to go beyond those three levels of existence. The place where we have to abide that natural state of life that's called liberation, nirvana, or freedom. To bring about that possibility, there were three ingredients provided for those who participated. There were really only one. <coughs> intensity, <coughs> intensity, intensity. <coughs> On the nitty-gritty level, that intensity constituted everyone being ill. Intestines screaming on the bus wanting to be released. Racking coughs the bus breaking down twice. Our dear and blessed Giselle had made a killing itinerary for us. Intensity. On the arcane level, every temple, every pagoda, in fact the very soil of Myanmar is imbued with longing, dedication, possibilities for a better life. This was felt in full measure. So again, at this level, there was intensity. Driving along in the bus, looking out of the windows, when the bus broke down, stopping at the villages, seeing the life of the people, going to the meditation center that had been built brick by brick to create something while the families live in thatched huts around it. Compassion and empathy filled us so again, there was a level of intensity. So with these three, bought in full measure, there was that possibility to experience what it is when 
those three levels of life coalesce to become what we know as Satchitananda or existence, knowledge and bliss and yet be brought to a state which allows us to experience that that is not what we are. This is the place that we aspire to, to live in this place where mind at its three levels function fully, intensely, in every single moment so that we can live in that state that the Buddha said when he was asked, what are you? And he said, I'm awake. I'm awake! To be fully awake at those three levels is to go beyond mind. But we could ask ourselves, what is this state and place that is described as being beyond the mind? So I give you a riddle. It's a riddle about a seeker after truth who traveled many, many, many miles, had many, many experiences, delved into all the levels of life, and finally found himself at the Takiya of a great Sufi sheikh, seeking entry into his circle. He was greeted by the leading disciple of the Sheikh, who said, My master has said that you can be admitted to his circle if you can answer a question. You can enter his circle in three years' time if you can answer a question. So the question was posed and the seeker went off to find the answer and he labored over it, he labored over the answer and finally he came up with what he thought. And when he presented his answer to the disciple of the sheikh, it was said to him, yes, that is the answer. Now, in 1,001 days, you can enter the circle of the Master. And the seeker was elated. But just as he was leaving, he had a thought. And he said to the disciple, please, will you tell me what would have happened if I were not able to answer the question? And the disciple said, oh, in that case, you would have been admitted to the circle immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what does this riddle mean for us? What happens in our lives when the intensity of those three levels are operating in our life at full measure at every single moment. That means that we have no conditioning, no barriers, no shields, no veils. We're awake. Awake, awake. What does it mean? What happens then? We answer this riddle. Ask yourself. Answer this riddle now. What does it mean? He would have been admitted immediately had he not had the answer. What does it mean for us? What happens when we're in that place, that state, fully awake, fully alert, alive, 
to all the levels of existence at every single moment. What does it mean? What happens? What happens to our mind? No more questions. Where are we going today? What's, where, what's our destination? What's going to happen to me when I die? It all's gone. Gone. Disappears. Do you have the answer to the video? And then you better start counting the days if you have an answer, no? One thousand and one.